Hey, I'm Skyler. Everything in your iPhone is controlled by software. Very sophisticated, very complex software, layer upon layer of it. Things called firmware that are the very bottom, right above the hardware, and then software, which is all the stuff that you actually interact with. So if you're experiencing crashing issues, one of the first things to determine is whether it's a software issue or a hardware issue. So one thing you can do is double press your home button and take a look at all the applications you have running. If you have tons and tons of applications running, Apple says that they're all hibernating and they're not actually taking any system resources. There are some applications, however, that do maintain active processes in the background, and that can reduce the total amount of RAM that you have available in order to do common tasks with your phone. So you could find that you had a bunch of applications open and you were getting crashes thanks to one specific one. So you could close that application or close all of them and free up the total amount of RAM that you had on iPhone. Now, if that doesn't work, what I recommend is that you uh, do a power cycle. So turn it on, or turn it off rather, and then turn it back on. When you do that, it allows the iPhone to clean out various caches and buffers and start fresh. It's sort of like getting a good night's sleep and waking up early. If that doesn't work, you can try something a little bit more drastic in settings. Scroll down to general and scroll all the way down to the bottom to reset. Tap reset all settings. Now, before you do that, it's going to change things like it's going to uh, change your wallpaper back to default, change all of your customizations back to the default settings like notifications, etc. So you're going to have to rebuild your phone to what you had before, but that can resolve issues. If that doesn't work, you're probably going to want to connect it to iTunes and transfer all your purchases, sync, that sort of stuff. Restore the phone, but not from a backup. Install a fresh version of the operating system on your device. And in order to do this, I recommend going to support.apple.com and finding the article on how to do that step by step. If you're not comfortable with it, what I recommend is transferring all of that information to iTunes, your apps and music, movies, purchases, etc., and then booking an appointment at the Genius Bar, and they'll totally restore the phone from you. Then you can sync your contacts and all that stuff back onto it when you get home. So to recap those steps, close out your applications, try turning the device off and back on, try reset all settings, and finally, restore the phone from scratch. Thanks for watching. I'm Skylar.